Two Jeff Lightman joined right now. Be the Carroll Boys at 4 by 100 relay down here at the state track meet. We'll start off with the leader here today, Cooper LaRue. And Coop, how'd you feel like you got off to a start today? Um, oh, I got off to Bentley. a decent start right. and then about 200 meters. I could really feel it in my legs and I started dying a little bit. I just got tired from <laughs> other events earlier in the day. But So I know I didn't run my best time, but... Are you the Carlisle boys coach? Uh, yes. you see the meat How did you try to stretch out and get yourself only. ready in between all the races today? Um, I pretty much stayed warm from the 4x2 on. Uh, pretty much the whole time just walked around and then stretched a little bit before each race. <laughs> so the last 200 you said was pretty tough. How did you fight through those today? Um, tried to just make my stride longer and try to make up more ground. Did you feel like you were able to get through as strong as you wanted to since you were kind of tightening up a little bit? Uh, I tried my best, and I guess that's all I can do. Coop, your last year down here, talk about the experience. What's it been like? Uh, it's been great. This year was especially different because it was more just like a normal track meet. So like last year, I just did one event on Thursday and Friday, but having three events today was really busy. Enjoyable, though? Yeah. What's your favorite memory to take away from here? Um, seen some crazy times run and probably <coughs> high jumps, seeing people jump like seven foot. It's really cool to see in person. Well, Coop, appreciate you joining us today. Congratulations on a great career. Thanks. Let's move over now to uh, Mason Millard. Mason, you're in the, the second leg today. How did you feel like you ran? Yeah, um, my legs were sore, obviously, from other events, but I feel like I ran pretty good. I felt Throughout, I felt pretty good. I mean, we were, we were a little behind. I had to try to catch the guys on the home stretch, and I couldn't quite do it. It looked like you came out of that corner, though, pretty strong yeah. to the home stretch. Yeah, I, I felt I felt pretty good running. It's like my legs were tired, but once I started going, you know, I didn't really, you know, want to stop. I felt pretty good throughout. What was your goal coming into today? Um, I feel like our goal is to get the school record. Um, it was a 328. We didn't do that. Came up short. Let's talk uh, about what it's like to be able to run with your good friend Cooper down here. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I mean, we were in what, three three relays together, uh, placed fourth and one, so it was a good day in the office. Well, I tell you what, we congratulate you on a great career, Thank and thanks very, very much. much. Thank you. Let's move on now to Cole Kotsky, who ran the third leg today. Cole, how was it like? How was it like for you? <laughs> uh, well, Mason, we got out. Uh, coaches told me right before the race that I was supposed to work up to where Mason was, and I did that, and then one of the other teammates, I, or one of the other teams, uh, kind of tripped Mason. So we lost a little bit, a little bit of time there. So I had to make that up. Do you feel like you were able to do that? Uh, I don't really know. Like, I've only ran maybe a handful of 400s this year, and so gauging that is pretty tough for me at this point. What's it like running a 400 when you're not used to it? How'd you prepare yourself? Uh, the final lesson of the 3A boys 4x4 four four will be stay Williamsburg, quiet for the race. Harlan, I work up a little Dona, adrenaline, center hit point, myself a bit, Spirit Lake, and, uh, Glenwood, Gilbert, yeah, and that's, Seydell. That's basically it, jump around a bit too. Being down here at State, what's this been like for you? What are some of the favorite memories you're going to take away? Uh, unbelievable. We, It's been unbelievable. Like uh, We went down to Drake last month and getting a return here with even more people, more friends, makes it all the better. Any race or anything that in particular that you remember watching that you just kind of went wow? Uh, definitely the four by one two way uh, with uh, Burlington Notre Dame breaking the meet record of forty two four. Well, I tell that was you what, incredible. tell you what, Cole. Look forward to seeing you down here again. Appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Let's move over now to Dylan Millermont and Dylan ran the anchor leg here today. Dylan, how did it feel out here? I was still I was a little bit tight from all those two previous races. Pretty, a little bit sore. Otherwise, I felt like I knew I had to uh, push myself to get the record. So I tried doing that, but came up short. How short were you guys today? Uh, four seconds. Four seconds off. Was that a, we a second and a half off? Was that something you guys talked a lot about before the race today? Yeah, and throughout the year too. And throughout <laughs> the year. How much did that push you guys to get ready for state? And the 1A boys high yeah, jump going to 6 1, 13 jumpers still in the competition. What was it like running for you down here? Do you feel comfortable running on this track? Yeah, oh, just felt like regular track me at this regular track me, like districts, except not rainy. 
Which one did you feel like was your best event today? Probably the 4 right since we placed fourth overall. Ran a good leg. Talk about that leg real quick. What did you feel like while running that one? Well, I took my time in the blocks, and then I got set. I felt real good off the start, and then me and Simmons' handoffs was really good. Any memories you're going to take away minus that, that fourth place finish? Um, probably watching that kid clear 6'11". Six six high jump. Do you think you'd ever see anybody do that? No. No? no not so good either. Well, I tell you what, Dylan, appreciate you joining us, guys. Thank you very much. Congratulations.